One fight that I think uh, could have been very interesting that never happened was a fight between uh, Timothy Bradley and Floyd Mayweather. Now, Floyd Mayweather, by all intents and purposes, um, used to be a fighter that was managed and uh, promoted by uh, Bob Arum. And Bob Arum, as you know, was the, I think he was the career promoter for Timothy Bradley. Now, um, I think a contract between Timothy Bradley and um, uh, Bob Arum expired. And there was a time period where um, I think it was after the Pacquiao fights or something of the sort, uh, one or two of the Pacquiao fights where um, Timothy Bradley was a free agent and he was in a position where he could have taken a fight. Um, he could have uh, signed to PBC and fought Mayweather. And I think that would have been a very interesting fight. Lyle, a lot of people say the people that beat Mayweather are punchers, people that can hit him hard, like relatively speaking, and buzz him. But by all intents and purposes, Mayweather's ne never lost a fight. And he has been in there with some punches. He went in there with Diego Corrales. He went in there with uh, the Marcus Maidanas of the world. Timothy Bradley, um, although he has a lot of tenacity and heart and um, was a very good fighter in his day, he was never a fighter that had a lot of... Um, he was never a fighter that had um, the biggest punching power he just never was i think he he had a low punch power i mean he did hurt fighters from time to time and he uh was quite formidable but i think he was an underrated fighter that didn't have a lot of punching power but i think against mayweather i think he would have given him a good fight because for all intents and purposes uh timothy bradley was a very versatile fighter he had the ability to fight on the inside he had the ability to fight on the outside i mean look at how he fought against an undefeated lamont peterson he managed to outbox him on the outside in the inside i mean he fought he fought uh pacquiao even though he won the first fight and i got pa i thought pacquiao got robbed there was a time where he was like fairly competitive in there with Pacquiao in the sense that it's not like he was like a Ricky Hatton who got knocked out in, in, in two rounds. I mean, he had three massive fights with Pacquiao. So I just think um, to some extent, um, uh, to some extent, he he, he is um, in a position where I think he could have given a Mayweather a good fight. I think the biggest win of Timothy Bradley's career was his win over Marquez. And Marquez at the time was coming off a knockout win over um, Pacquiao. So say what you want about uh, Marquez in terms of um, him losing to Mayweather. Marquez at that time was a formidable fighter. And um, he just knocked out Pacquiao. Yet Timothy Bradley came along. And um, he he wanted to smoke with, um, with uh, Marquez. And uh, he managed to actually beat him. He counterpunched the counterpuncher. So that shows the ability of um, a Timothy Bradley that is able to beat a fighter of the level of a Marquez, who, 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 for all intents and purposes, was technically one of the most gifted counterpunchers in boxing. So I think he he would have gave Mayweather problems. I think he his versatility, his ability to fight on the inside and the outside, all of that. I think it would have been a problem for Mayweather. The question to consider is whether the fight would have happened. I think there's a strong chance that the fight wouldn't have happened because um for all intents and purposes let's just be real mayweather isn't exactly known to take the highest risk fight and timothy bradley i think he only had one loss to pacquiao um obviously you can consider the first fight a loss but it was a robbery in his favor but for all intents and purposes in terms of his record he only had one loss to um to uh, uh manny pacquiao who's an all-time great legend and so um I, th I don't know if mayweather would have fought him but i think um for all intents and purposes um he would have gave uh, mayweather a hell of a fight and i think uh i think mayweather would have eventually won but when he was going through his tear when he's fighting the likes of an andre berto and it wasn't a mayweather that was at the peak of his game i mean i think um timothy bradley would have definitely have given him a good fight i think he definitely would have put it on him and he definitely would have been fearless and there was a time when that fight could have been made instead of re-signing with bob arum if he signed with um a pbc uh, i think that fight would have happened and um it would have been an interesting fight to see um at the best of times so yeah it's an interesting fight that could have happened but unfortunately never did but i think it would have been a fight that would have been a fight for the ages and um to some extent if you would have beaten timothy bradley um that's a huge scalp that you can put on his resume for all intensive purposes timothy bradley is a five-time world champion i mean he's accomplished so much in the sport and the only fight that he's actually lost to like officially is pacquiao so um yeah it would have been a good scalp on his record but um, unfortunately it never happened but i just thinking uh, from that perspective imagine if they both would have fought each other 
uh, it would have been a very good fight to watch. So yeah, that's my opinions on this fight. What's your opinions? Do you think Timothy Bradley would have given a Mayweather a good fight, or do you think a uh, Mayweather would have still just been too much for him? Um, I think it's an interesting fight. I think it's a fight that, because of Timothy Bradley's versatility, his movement, his uh, slickness, he can be slick when he had to be. He can fight as well and put it on you when he had to. I mean, Timothy Bradley was a hell of a fighter, and uh, I think um, there definitely would have been a head part in the fight or two. And I think it would have been an interesting fight just to see from a spectator's point of view. So yeah, that's my opinion on this particular fight. Tell me your opinion and like and subscribe to the channel. Um, I've got a lot more content coming your way. Peace out.